buddy. We're a sweaty mess. <laughs> Working on this airplane all day. We're going to do the first test flight. Do a little run up here. All right. Do a little run up. Up to about 1,700. That's a mag check. One, two. One. One. Propeller. All right, that all works. Don't forget your door. Yep. Don't check. All right, you want to hold this iPad? Yep. I just got to keep it on your lap. You got your seatbelt on? I do. Oh, we didn't do these. There we go. Oh, yeah. See if you can pop yours out. Sweet. All right, looks clear. Landing's traffic. Cessna 042 is departing runway 31 westbound landing. All right, suction, what's its cylinder head temperature? It's already at 300. 300. It's going to be really hot. I, I mean, if it gets much over 400, it's going to be bad. Okay, we're squawking 12 and we're on altitude. Are okay. we ready? Ready. Looks good. Their heads 336. All right. 40. Climbing a little. I'm going to do a fast climb. Okay. It is. Oh, shoot. It's loud because I didn't turn on my noise canceling. Uh, I'm oh, that is so much better. Check, check. 360. RPMs are 2,500. It's at 370. Okay. Probably turn and keep it close to the airport. Five, six. Alright, I'm going to pull this power back a little. Yeah. Two and a half miles northwest inbound landing. Two, two, metal cruise. I will. And it's, good. it's like smooth. Yeah, there's really not much vibration. No. I'm trying to climb up to like 3,000, a little cooler. Look at that temperature now, Dan. Yeah. It's getting better. It's good, yeah. So for the record, yeah, we're down to 384 now. I pulled it back to 23 inches and 2400 RPM. Pretty close. Yep. Oh, that looks good. I'm going to try and climb up to 3000 feet. Are you getting any... Everything else look good? Yeah. Pull this RPM back. But 23, 23. Look at that. Traffic traffic gets better. 71 miles south. Going to be over flying the field at 1,800 basically. Okay, so we're indicating 140 miles an hour. And what's the outside temperature? 140 miles an hour at 75 degrees at 2,800 feet. If I could do a true airspeed computation off that, we're going 150 knots going with the wind. But we're going way slower going the other way. Left hand turn. Your seed CHD is looking good. Yeah. 354 right now. Oh, I should actually lean it out, shouldn't I? 100 lean degrees it? rich of peak. Yeah. Oh, I... why would you do that? Don't you want to keep it as cool as possible? You do, but you don't want to run it so rich that it fouls things up, you know? I don't know. Oh, Bluetooth on. 
That's new. Yeah, I know. I, I just can't do anything with it. Oh, wait. Here it is. No, wait. GTX 345, right? Yeah, that should be it. Oh, oh you got a code. Okay, so... Oh, it worked. Is it on? Yeah, cool. so let's see if we... So is it going to know it automatically every time now? I think so. Oh, look at that. There you are. Nice. Get rid of... Radar. All right, my EGT is there. Ooh, got someone right behind us, same altitude. Do we? But he's crossing over that way. He's on this mirror, you can see a little bit. But overall, the dashboard and everything, I mean, it looks to, pretty good. Compared to the arrow, man, this thing is smooth. Is it? Yeah. Good deal. Okay, so we got 352 still on our temperature. They say you fly this around for like an hour and then it gets better. Where's that guy? Back He's over here. So I can take a right turn? Yep. Okay. It does. It just flies big and heavy, you yeah. know? It's great. I got no ball, though. No, you don't. That's weird. Uh, you have to have that to fly up our final four. Carb temp. Does that work? No, apparently not. Oh, you know what it might though, because it's 30 degrees is oh. 86. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Celsius. Yeah. I mean, it should be indicating. He told me he hooked all that up. He bought a new wire. He ran it all the charge, and then it's like, yeah, it doesn't seem to be working. Oh well. Great. Hey. So I'm just gonna write down 2,700 feet, 75 degrees. So I'll I'll know. Yep. Because supposedly after a couple hours, all of a sudden all those just come down dramatically. Okay. I don't like that. And I don't like that. I'm hoping that's just wrong. Oh, you know what? Shoot, what's that this, thing? I can this, tell you if it's wrong. This actually came up a little bit. Did it? The oil temp, yeah. I'm gonna work on my seatbelt for a second. I know how to check it. I'm a genius. <laughs> All right, check this out, man. Oh, gotta tell us the voltage. 14 volts, perfect. Oh, nice. So we're good. You know, actually, I have that built into my cigarette lighter, the USB thing. Yeah, that's good That to makes have. me feel a lot better. My alternator's yeah. working. Oh, yeah. All right. Suction should be cranking with a brand new suction pump. It's showing just over four. I mean, it seems to be working. What's our heading? 350? Yeah, it's holding. Nice. All the engines look like it's staying in the green. We got 23-23. Right. This is cool to be able to look out and you can see the ground. But well, you notice that your window bubbles out? Yeah, I was sticking my head through there. It's pretty cool. All right, folks. So what this is, this is a test flight of a 182 after the new engine goes in. We waited till it got nighttime, so it got cooler. Or not nighttime, but dusk. And you run it hard, you run it 75% power for the first, hopefully, just 10 hours. And when the oil consumption levels off and the temperatures get cooler, then you're all set. So I'm marking off the altitude, the temperature, and the cylinder head temperature, and the exhaust gas temperature. And we're just going to monitor that every time I fly it. And at some point, we'll notice it all drop a bunch. It's almost, they call it like the engine breaks its fever. And when that happens, your engine supposedly is broken in. All right, folks, so we're losing daylight. We've been flying for almost an hour. First flight, running it hard. Temperatures are holding steady. I can tell when I descend into slightly warmer temperatures, the uh, exhaust gas temperature shows up right away. I mean, it, it increases, so it's really sensitive to that. Yeah, I'm kind of mixed here. I don't want to pull the power because you're supposed to run it hard, but I got to eventually slow down, right? Yeah. So. That's gonna make kind of a big airliner pattern. What does it say down here, Dan? Can you see what the light, what my first notch of flaps is for speed? 160 miles an hour. No way. 110 okay. miles an hour. That's really all it So the first notch, me. I could do at 160. Uh, apparently. All right, well, I'm at 130. So, okay, that seems fast. Yeah, and then when you get to the second notch, you can only be at 110. Yeah, that's the white arc after the second. A lot of Cessnas are like that. Okay. The first notch is fast, and the rest is much slower. All right, there goes the carburetor heat. I'm going to go in 
notch of flaps. And there they go. How am I looking on that runway? Oh, there it is. Perfect. Trying to keep the power up. I still have 20 inches in, but I got a notch of flaps. I'm going 115 miles an hour. Finals around 75, 80 miles an hour. Being real gentle on this power, people. All right, there's some serious flaps. Oh, not really lined up. I'm watching my airspeed and my flaps too much. There's 100 miles an hour. But well, you can feel that heat we're descending into, can't you? Yep. Rimming it up. All right, sorry, engine, I gotta go idle. Flaps up. Yeah, I didn't really have the sight picture down. It man, feel that heat. Which oh, the landing light. Yeah, my yeah. landing light. It's. I mean, you can tell it's pretty bright. Look what's how it's shining on the woods. Oh, yeah. But it'd be better if it was shining in front of me. There's a deer right there. Yeah, I see it. Don't run in front of my propeller. That would. Be oh, if he twitches our way, I'm killing it. He's hot. He's standing in the water. Yeah. Or she. You look at the landing light, it's very bright and it goes very far, but it's all to the left. I guess if I had one on the other wing as well, it'd be beautiful, you know? Yeah. All right. You want, when you break in an engine, you guys, you got to minimize the taxi time. So we're trying to scoot right into the ramp and shut it down. It's just, uh, they tend to run really hot initially. And on the ground you get no cooling, so that's what we're doing. We're gonna hustle back and turn it off. 